He served two terms in Congress, and now he's going to serve time in a federal prison. Former U.S. Representative Steve Stockman found guilty today on fraud and conspiracy charges. His sentencing is still several months away, but after the verdict, he was taken directly into custody. Channel 2's Lee Ferlisi live downtown to explain why. Lee? Dominique, when that verdict came down, it was serious. Steve Stockman was found guilty of multiple crimes. And so the prosecution expressed concern and the judge agreed that between his financial resources and his foreign contacts, he posed a flight risk. A two-term former congressman of Clear Lake, Steve Stockman, was found guilty in federal court today on 23 out of 24 counts, ranging from mail fraud to making false statements to money laundering. I'm, I'm upset about it, of course. Stockman's wife left court after the verdict without a word. A friend and supporter with her called campaign finance laws complex. I don't think there's any chance that he did it for personal purpose or for any mean or evil purpose. Steve Stockman was found guilty of raising over a million dollars in charitable donations and funneling the money into his own pocket for personal and campaign use. Stockman's defense team argued that the donors knew where the money was going. Our theory is that these mega donors who had donated to Mr. Stockman were uh, donating not because they wanted Mr. Stockman to use the funds on particular projects, as the government has claimed, but because they wanted to finance uh, Mr. Stockman as a politician. Unlike other days when Stockman was free to come and go from court, he was taken into custody immediately after the verdict, the judge agreeing with the prosecution. Stockman had foreign contacts and now posed a flight risk. But he is keeping his head up. He's strong. He's a survivor, as he always has been. Steve Stockman is also a diabetic. His defense attorney expressed concern in court that the proper medical arrangements be made for him. The judge agreed with that and said she would recommend that. Sentencing will be in August. The defense says they plan to appeal. We're live downtown. Lee for Lisi, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Lee.